Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have fought the Final Fantasy Anthology. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 1999, developed and published by Square. So this is yet another compilation, but this time it's of Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI for the PS1. It's in a similar boat to Final Fantasy Chronicles, sadly. It adds stuff like FMVs, but the load times are terrible and really bring down the experience. What's neat, though, was that this was the first official release of Final Fantasy V outside of Japan. It would be succeeded by the superior GBA version later. FF5 is known for having an amazing job system. It allows for a very gameplay ex a very gameplay experience, and it's miles better than the one that was in Final Fantasy III. Final Fantasy VI is a really good game as well, but again, while the added FMVs are cool, the, the load times really hamper this version of it. So, in Final Fantasy V, you take on the role of Bartz, who's also called Butts in the original version. At the story's opening, the Wind Crystal has been destroyed, and as a result, the wind now no longer blows. Bartz is joined by Lena, the princess of Tycoon Castle, a pirate named Ferris, and a strange old man with amnesia named Galoof. Together, they go on a quest to try and save the three remaining crystals before more disaster befalls the world. Yeah, I love Final Fantasy V. It's a it's a really good game. Oh, right, her name was Reyna in this version. But I think officially her name is Lena. Wind stopped. What in the... And poof, it's gone. There's our main man, Bartz. 
is Chocobo Boko. Okay, so, a meteor just crashed into the planet. Let's go, Boko. Those goblins, you boss. You okay there? Just call me question mark. So yeah, his official name is Bartz. But just because... We'll call him Butts. When something smells, it's usually the Butts. Hi there. Hello, Galoof. That's all. Can't remember anything else. Galoof is awesome.
Okay, goodbye. Godspeed. Alright. We're out of here. I'm sure they'll be fine. And we're off. Wark, wark, wark. There they are. So yeah, this was the first version of Final Fantasy V that we actually got over here in the US. Um, but the Game Boy Advance version is pretty much superior in every way, I would say. It got a better translation, it got extra features added, it's just good overall, pretty much. Although I guess the Pixel Remaster would be just as good now, I suppose. Hey there, butts! What a bunch of crap. You know it's just because you got the hots for her. Sorry, I mean, Wark. Luckily, there is a way.
So at the start of Final Fantasy V, you start as a job... Everyone starts as a job called a freelancer. But then, once we get to the Wind Shrine and defeat the boss there, then we start to get at, be able to change jobs. So Freelancer isn't that great on its own, but as you start mastering jobs, it becomes like one of the best things to have like late game, because they gain abilities from the jobs that they've mastered. Okay, so there's a recovery spring. Yeah, these load times, they're a little, they're little yikes, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't help that the encounter rate seems fairly high as well. Hey look, it's a pirate! At least the screen, uh, sprite fl flickering thing from uh, Chronicles seems to have been fixed. Because that was a major problem. Uh-oh, back attack. You know, I was gonna see if I could maybe get th through the entirety of the Wind Shrine, but that's gonna take way too long with how bad these load times are. So maybe after we get Ferris, I'll stop. For at least the Final Fantasy V uh, part of the game.
good question. Yep, and it was a pirate ship. Oh yes, let's just ask the pirates if they'll give us a ride. What are we gonna do, waltz on board? You know, you're pretty gutsy for an old timer. Okay, well, let's just leave him be. He didn't see nothing. Back to sleep. that was doing something. Oh well, no big deal. Well, let's steal the ship. Now we shove off. Got courage trying to steal me ship out from under me own nose. <gasps> She's a princess. Oh boy, so we've been captured. <laughs> Whose idea was it anyhow to see a bleepin' pirate ship? Yours, you old psycho! Oh. Nice. Yeah, nice timing.
What do you, what do, you do with these landlubbers, Captain? Hooray! <laughs> Are you deaf or just stupid? Do as your captain commands! You're hollow as you are pretty, me lass. Oh, hi! Now I'm, I'm pretty sure that name was changed in the Game Boy Advance version. Um, I don't think it was Hydra. It was something else. I can't think of it at the moment. So yes, we now have access to a boat. Sure. Why not? Okay, so we now have our full party. Bart's, uh, Lena, Galoof, and Ferris. Uh, let's get into a battle with all four party members. So I am going to be stopping here with the Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy V portion of this game, but um, normally what I do is before going here, there's a town like I think to the west where you can gear up and stuff. It's better to like go there to stock up on equipment and items first before heading to the Wind Shrine, especially to get like Galoof a proper weapon since he's not going to do much damage with his fists. But um. Yeah, that's a pretty good showcase of Final Fantasy V. I did want to go through the Wind Shrine, but it would take too long with these load times, and I'm already at a half hour of recording. So, um, we'll stop here with Final Fantasy V. Give me just a moment, and we'll si slip, uh, let switch over to the Final Fantasy VI portion of the Final Fantasy Anthology.
Okay, guys, and welcome to the Final Fantasy VI portion of Final Fantasy Anthology. So in Final Fantasy VI, you control a girl named Terra. Long ago, the War of the Magi caused all magic to disappear from the world. However, Terra has the rare ability to use it. The Empire has captured her and fitted her with a mind control device to do their bidding. She soon breaks free from their control, and joined by many allies, joins the rebel group The Returners to take on the Empire, while also learning about herself and the Espers. So, this is a pretty fan-favorite game. It's, it's, it's another really good one, but again, because this is, it's on the PS1, and because of how it is, it's just... It's not as good as it could be because of the load times. Though the FMVs are cool. Like the magic tech the magic tech armor looks sick in that opening cutscene. Interestingly, Terra's uh, name in the Japanese version is actually Tina, and she had blonde hair. Because blonde hair was considered exotic back then in Japan. But for the U.S. release, they thought that was too basic, so they changed her hair to green and then named her Terra instead. Yeah, just like with Chrono Trigger, this was my first introduction to Final Fantasy VI, when I was younger. And just like Chrono Trigger, I ended up getting uh, Final Fantasy VI through WiiWare, or the Wii Shop. And that, that was how I fully completed the game. I never did get the GBA version, though. Oh, he's actually called Biggs now, instead of Vix. Vix and Wedge. This is an iconic scene here. The march to Narsh. So, uh, com in comparison to Final Fantasy V, I would say that Final Fantasy VI is a little less in-depth. There's no job system in this. Um, but you do get a ton of characters instead. And once you start getting uh, espers that you can equip on people, then you can start learning magic, all the various abilities, and you can also customize your stats at level up by having certain espers equipped on certain characters.
You know, on paper it sounded cool, having all these compilations and stuff. Because also having Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 on the system, you know, you also had Final Fantasy Tactics, there were other various uh, uh, Square Enix games. But then you also had, you know, do uh, Origins, which had Final Fantasy 1 and 2, you had Final Fantasy 4 and Chronicles, and then Final Fantasy 5 and 6 here in Anthology. So, you had almost, almost every single Final Fantasy on one system, which was kind of cool at the time. Right, so here's our dudes, question mark, Wedge, and Biggs. Oh boy, time to attack these dudes. Yeah, as you can see, it suffers from the same problems, the load times. They're just awful. Oof. Terra has a lot more options with her magic trick armor compared to Biggs and Wedge. She also she can also heal. The other guys might have had heal. I wasn't paying much attention. Oh, here they come. Okay, yeah, they do have heal force as well. Pincer attack. Or it could just be a back attack, I don't remember. Nope, that's a pincer. Yeah, we sure showed them. Those are some big guys there.
Rosa Nesper, eh? There's a save point. No, I know how to save. Oh, can't go that way, I guess. Ejected immediately. Wow. Good job. Uh oh. Here comes the Welk! A monster that eats lightning and stores the energy in its shell. Whatever you do, don't attack the shell! Terra just got slow. Nope, we'll take this opportunity to heal, I guess. Though Terra had pretty nice HP there. Got it. Goodbye to the Welk. Try talk. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Ledge is dead, and now so is Biggs.
Hey, no more slave crown. The others had complete control of you while you were wearing it. A mysterious young woman, controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. This is Terra. for blood. I suppose we could just tell them that we were being controlled by a slave crown. That right, shows she starts with cure and fire. These are so bad. There's a save point. What's over here? Phoenix down. I always like that enemy type there, Repo Man. Not dead. Now he is. Let's try casting fire on him. Okay. 
Okay, that works. Down we go. And she's passed out. Oh boy, if it isn't Kefka. Everyone loves Kaf Kafka. He's a madman. So that's Emperor Gestel there, leader of the Empire. And they were trying to take over the world. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? <laughs> Treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. This is the treasure hunter, Locke. Don't call him a thief, or you'll make him mad. I prefer the term treasure hunter. There's a huge difference! That Magitech writing Imperial Witch. To Figaro and talk of the king. He's talking about king, uh, King Edgar. Edgar School. Ah, Moogles. Use us to save Terra from the guards. No. You basically control three different groups here, and you have another situation like this later. But, um... 
I'm gonna go ahead and stop here because this will take several minutes to get through. But basically, you would place these different groups of Moogles and lock leading a group of Moogles to protect Terra here until you get to the leader and take him out. But, um, yeah, these have been the compilations of the Final Fantasy games. They're not great, they're okay. Um, I think the best one is probably Final Fantasy Origins since it has the least amount of load times. But, um, you can definitely find better versions of these games, especially nowadays, like the Crystal Remasters. Um, they were neat for their time, you know, having all Final Fantasies on one console, but um, the load times are just... they're unbearable. It would take forever to get through these games because of them. But they were neat for what they were. <laughs>